Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in uh, Stormworks again, and we are back with this thing right here. This is our ocean liner. Now, what are we going to do today? Well, I figured we might as well actually get these propellers actually spinning. So, we got to go to the inside, we got to attach these pipes all together, and get the engines working, and then hopefully we can actually get this thing moving. Uh, I also want these areas to look a little bit nicer. So I think we might end up doing something with those, uh, and we will go from there. So, let's get to it, shall we? Alright, so before I do anything else, I am actually going to go ahead and add another one of these to each side. So we're going to grab this and this, all the way up to here. I'm then going to send it all the way down to the side, or the back, I should say. And we're going to cop copy and paste this to the side a little bit. And that is going to be good, so cut this, there we go. Move it over to this side and paste it there. Move it over to the other side and paste it over there as well. There we go. And that's fine. Yes! Alright, merge these guys together. There's that one and there's that one. Nice. We then need this stability system to be in, um, implemented as well. Like, it, it's there, obviously, but the microcontroller isn't, I don't think. Uh, so we need to sort that out as well and we can go from there. Okay, so I've actually put this thing right here. I mean, it's in a corridor. I feel like it looks fine there, so we're just going to go ahead and have it. Uh, and essentially, we're going to go ahead and connect all of these stabilizers to each other and uh, make them all work. So, yeah, let me do that, and then it'll work, I guess. Okay, so now that all that's done, that is good. So we now need to actually attach this to the seat. We also need to attach the rudders to the seat as well, uh, just to make sure everything is working. So... This goes to A and D. Ah, oh, it's so far away. <laughs> it's always so far away. It's on the other side of the ship. Uh, but we got to send this up to A and D, which is this side. There we go. We then send this one all the way backwards, and we need to connect this to... Wow, look at all of those. Uh, we need to send this backwards all the way to the rear. Here we go, and we're going to connect that down to there. All right, that's it, actually. That's, that's everything. Uh, what we need to do next is we need to attach this to W and S. So that's what we're going to do next. I now need to go all the way back over to the front. Again. There we go. Connect that to W and S. And W and S down to the other side. The other, um, the other clutch. Yes. Once we've done that, obviously everything should work and should be fine. Uh, and we do need to see if this is actually even going to be stable. Because it might not be. We'll see. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's still not incredibly stable, which is really, really, really annoying, actually. So, what I might do is actually add some weird fins to the sides. We'll actually have one poke out here, and maybe one poke out at the front, just to try and keep it level, maybe. Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab this color real quick. We're going to go ahead and delete this bit right here, and we are going to extend it outwards, I guess? So let's go with one of these to begin with. There we go. Turn it around if I can. Alright, there we go. And send that out to the side a little bit like this. Yeah, that is a bit crazy, but that's what we're going to do. So there we go. Uh, inside of this, we are actually going to go ahead and add some control surfaces. Yes, and it's going to be these ones. So it does look a little bit weird to begin with, but don't worry about it too much. It'll be fine. Alright, there we go. Attach all of those guys onto there. All of these guys onto here, and I'll do a few. In here, and a few in here as well. There we go. And I guess a few in here as well. Now, realistically, I would like this to be angled, but we're not going to do that. I'm then going to go ahead and copy and paste this. So it goes from here all the way to the back end. And we'll have the stability back there as well, hopefully. And then from there, what are we going to do? Well, I might put it on the other side too. We'll see. So I'm actually going to go ahead and shove this into here like this. There we go. Merge that together. We're then going to go ahead and press U, and we'll take it to the other side, and we'll have it in there as well. So, drag this all the way over to here, there we go. Send this in just a little bit, there we go, and merge that together as well. There we go, alright, excellent. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit weird to have those, but I'm sure it's fine. Guys, it doesn't seem like it's worked. <laughs> the, the entire ship is now on its side yet again. Fortunately, it's not actually rolling all the way over, but it's still rolling over, and that's not good. Right, so, uh, we're looking right here, and you can see that the waterline is pretty good, to be fair. Uh, I'm going over to the other side of the ship to see this side, and again, it's okay over here. The issue is, though, that it is a little bit wibbly-wobbly, so as soon as 
uh, it gets to a certain point, it will actually tip over. And that's not really what you want. And I don't really know how to fix this either. If you look at the bottom of this ship, I have added a lot of weight. There is so much weight on the bottom of this now. And still, it wants to tip over. Okay, so now it's lower in the water, as you guys can see, and hopefully that makes it a little bit more stable. Unfortunately, I'm not actually sure that that is even true, but let's go to the inside and we'll try and get this thing moving now, because we can. So, all the way down here, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. There we go, go ahead and turn this one on, there we go, and we should be able to move it. I mean, I don't understand how it's still tipping over. It might be down to, like, these things, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know. I feel like this shouldn't be tipping right now. There's so much weight on the bottom and not that much weight on the top. This doesn't make sense. Okay, so I added more weight to the bottom, and hopefully that has stabilized it a little bit, but... Oh, of course, there's a tsunami on the way. As you guys can see, it is still wanting to tip over, which is so annoying. Alright, so don't worry, that siren will go away eventually. I've added a little bit more weight to the bottom, so hopefully this is a little bit more stable than it was. It does look a tiny bit more stable, but I feel like it's still gonna tip over, which is super duper annoying. Yeah, look, it's gonna tip over again. It wants to, anyway. Yep, there it goes. Uh, but, I mean, from what I've done, the uh, center of mass is actually lower in the water than the center line. So I'm not sure how this is still happening. <laughs> it's, it just keeps happening. Uh, these guys might be causing a bit of an issue, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I don't know. This is annoying. Right, I really want that siren to go away, but it's just not doing it. Anyway, I'm going to go to the inside of here now. I've added a, like, a, a boat ton of weight uh, into this thing. So it should be better. But it, it just... It, it might still be listing, to be honest. It, I think it, in fact, I think it is still listing. It is, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. It is a tiny bit listing. Uh, so, uh, we've sorted it out a little bit, but it needs, it might actually need some active stabilization. So, something that is weight on a track that can move from side to side to actually balance out the beast. Now, because we actually have this room right here, we might have to do it in here. And there's some of the weight that I've added. Yeah. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. And the main reason for this is because I've made the ship taller. You know? But, hey-ho. There you go. Right, so we should be able to move now. There we go. And that's fine. Yeah, so... <sighs> this is really annoying. I feel like this might be causing some of the issue, actually. Because, I mean, to be fair, look at it. It looks like it would cause some issues. These aren't very light, to be fair. They are, they, they do weigh a little bit of weight. So, um, there's at least that. But, uh, yeah, I feel like it should be more stable than this. It really should be. Right, so, um, yeah, this is the ship right here. Of course, I have got it moving. The stability control system that we have actually works when it's moving, so that's why that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty nice when it is moving. Uh, the front of the ship is out of the water a little bit too much, to be fair, so I might have to try and stabilize it that way as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a really cool looking ship. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do to stabilize this. I don't really want to be using an active stabilization system. I would much prefer to actually just add weight and stuff like that. Maybe we could actually do ballast tanks and things like that as well, so we can actually fill up the ballast tanks um, with, with water to actually weigh this down, if that makes sense. Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. It was just a bunch of balancing and weight adding. Uh, but I don't actually have very much time today, so this is what you get. So sorry. But at least there's a video, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.